Honestly, fellas, if there's a game that has the word dungeon in it, you have my full gosh dang attention. Anyways, welcome to Anime Dungeon Fighters. Honestly, this game's actually pretty good. It's kind of like a dungeon crawler with some different aspects. Like, for instance, uh, it drops exclusively armor from the dungeons, and plus some of the items that I've gotten. And the weapons that you get from said uh, dungeons is actually dropped from these little gotchas. Now, I know what you're saying. Salty, salty. More gotchas in another game? Yes. Nice thing is, you can play this game entirely free to play play and be complete fine, which is super cool, actually. So anyways, fellas, we're gonna go ahead and do the level 40 village dungeon, which is actually the highest dungeon in this area, because unbeknownst to you guys, most likely, there are, there are multiple worlds, which I imagine the next one is like One Piece. It's a One Piece dimension. <laughs> dimension, oh my gosh. But real quick, here's a shout out to my members. Thank you, cuties. I mean, anyways, Let's do it. So you can think of this game as kind of like a cross between GPO, Dungeon Quest. Ah, uh, okay, maybe not Dungeon Quest, but more anime dimensions, I feel like. So GPO and Dungeon Quest. Gosh, dang it, I'm so smart. So my current fruit right now is the light fruit, which this thing has hard flipping carried me so far, boys. I also went fists because I heard that the fists weapon has like better buffs than the sword and the pistols. Anyone in the chat that regularly plays this game, feel free to correct me on this. First boss, and by the ways, uh, dungeons usually have multiple bosses. The first one only has one. No, uh, hey, 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 every dungeon's gotta have a star. Also, the cool thing is that there's actually a full-on skill tree with everything. So, like, you can choose different abilities based on, like, what, uh, what abilities you want to use for, like, swords. Certain fruits might have bigger ones, but the only one that I've used so far is lights, and I think ice as well. I, I haven't used ice that much. I still am very much a noob. But this is really cool. Skill trees in dungeon crawlers. You barely see that nowadays. Yippee! Nice thing is, also, when you kill a boss, you get loot. So if you're only able to, say, defeat the first boss on a dungeon, you can just get some loot and chill. I'm just gonna group all these guys up. Case the rainbow! But hacking photons! How do they work? Nice thing also, that a lot of other games could take note of with this game, is auto swing. You just press and hold the left mouse button, and it automatically swings, which is so, so nice. Fellas, I can't tell you how nice that is. Words cannot describe. How nice. Like, easy 10 out of 10 mechanic. <laughs> it's so simple, too. Like, do it. My fingers. My fingies. They hurty wordies. By the way, if you've enjoyed this video, then make sure to not only like it, but also subscribe for more. Currently, I'm trying to hit 100,000 subscribers before the year 2024 ends. So if you enjoyed the video, then you know what to do. All right, fellas. Let's continue. I'm not just spamming, like, the, the 1 through 5 keys on Anime Dimensions, bro. Oh, my gosh. That was painful. Might die, and honestly, deaths are actually pretty painful in this game. Because if you die, you lose a whole minute instead of 10 seconds. Woo! Legendary. Yahoo! Nice. Okay, right. photons! I'm actually really surprised that didn't kill me, but hey, it is what it is. I was gonna say that I'm good at this game. It's just my light fruit is so good, bruh. Just look at it like this 11%, 1%. Like, no problem. Also, bro, just taking a little nap. You know, he's just—he's sitting over there with the. Woo! Another legendary. Okay, last room, and this is actually where we fight Gara. Way to go! Oh, I had an ability. I wonder if I could just like hold this. <gasps> they okay? They can't hit me. Never mind. <laughs> I was about to get really excited if I could just float in the air and just like not do anything. That one obviously hit. But that's an AOE attack, so that's not fair. This is also not fair. This is a projectile based attack. No, I'm kidding. It's fine. It's fine. So what's a little bit of damage? I'm about to pull an Anakin after this. I hate sand. It's coarse and it gets everywhere. 64%. Please. I. I don't want sand in my eye or in my ear. Still talking. Do not want to die again. I mean, it's not that big of a deal if I do, but like. He's at 20%. We can do this. We just have to not die. I am 100% going to die. 100% dead. Yep, there I am. I'm faded to Elysium. Pay two eyes on my... Drachni. Okay, GG's. Yippee. Legendary. So that was the dungeon gameplay. Honestly, it's not bad. The hitboxes do seem a little bit scuffed, but... Hey, it's not supposed to be exact like Dungeon Quest and Fabled Legacy. Also, cosmetics are not just that. They do give you buffs. Like, for instance, my s rank Hunter title that I have right here. This actually gives me like a 1,000, 2,000 attack? Yeah, 1,000. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. Well, fellas, that was Anime Dungeon Fighters. So I just want to make a real quick video showcasing this game because this game's actually pretty good. It's not for everyone, and I do 
do understand that. But if you do like dungeon crawler games and you are looking for something a little bit different mechanically, then hey, look no further than this game. But if you guys want to check out one of my Anime Dimensions videos, then make sure to go watch it right here. This video is a lot of fun to make, and I think you'll enjoy it a lot. So definitely go watch it. Dismissed.